The wildfire threat is virtually everywhere in Marin. What your house is made of will determine if it can survive. Your house can be prepared to resist the heat, flames, and embers of a wildfire. A fire-resistant house doesn't ignite easily. You can focus on three key components of your house. The roof, including roofing materials, the edges of the roof and the overhang, or eaves, the sides of the house, including vents, windows, and siding, and attachments, including decks, fences, and trellises. Embers are created during a wildfire. These embers are small pieces of flaming wood, bark, and leaves that are carried by the wind. They act like seeds to ignite new fires. Many houses burn from the top down because the roof is the largest horizontal surface on the house and most vulnerable to wind-blown embers. During the late summer and fall wildfire months, roofs and gutters must be kept clear of leaves and needles because of the risk of ignition from embers if a wildfire occurs nearby. Dry leaves and needles easily ignite and they can kindle a fire on your roof. Make sure any collection point on your roof is kept clear of leaves and needles. If you have a complex roof with multiple angles and mixtures of materials, it's important to keep debris collection areas clear of debris. Corners are vulnerable areas because leaves and needles gather there. In Marin, many houses have untreated cedar shingle roofs. These are not fire safe. Shingles are like kindling, easy to set on fire. Replace your roof with Class A fire-resistive materials, such as tiles, slate, composite, or cement. Make certain your fire-resistant roofing isn't undermined by neglecting the edges of the roof. In the case of these clay barrel tiles, make sure bird stops are in place. Otherwise, embers will go into those areas where bird nests are built. The nests will catch on fire first, then the structural lumber and other materials that support your roof will ignite. Gutters along the edge of your roof must be kept clear of leaves and needles. If leaves and needles in the gutters ignite, then the fire can move through the edge of the roof and into the attic. The dry contents of the attic will fuel the fire and burn your house down. If you have a chimney, make sure it is screened to keep your fireplace embers from landing on your own roof and nearby vegetation. Open eaves, like on this house, are another reason houses burn from the top down. Eaves are where vents are commonly located and where the heat from a wildfire gets trapped, causing a threat to your home. Closing up your eaves keeps embers out of this area. Vents on the side of your house must be screened to keep large embers out. These vents allow air circulation in the attic and crawl space beneath your home, helping keep these areas dry. Screens help keep embers out of your house. The material on the side of your house is important. Again, wood shingles are not recommended. Using shingles for your siding is like covering your house with kindling. Stucco and other fire-resistant siding products like fiber cement make excellent siding. Painting your house and caulking joints regularly will close up little openings embers might find. Intumescent paints effectively limit the spread of fire inside buildings. In the future, these fire-resistant paints may offer the same level of protection for the outside of your house as they currently do on the inside. Windows are another vulnerable area. Double-paned windows with tempered glass are recommended because they resist the radiant heat from wildfire. Having the outside pane made of tempered glass is recommended. Tempered glass is stronger and won't break as easily if radiant energy or flames reach it. Look for the tempered glass trademark in the lower corner of the window. In the hot summer months when you leave your home, keep your windows closed or screened. If you have to evacuate because of a wildfire, Close all windows to keep embers out of your house. Also, close the shutters if you have them. If your home has a deck or outdoor staircase, these areas should be enclosed so embers and fire cannot get beneath them. Lattice alone will not keep embers out. Wood and old furniture stored under decks or in an open area under your house are fuel for fires. 
Embers will find and ignite these things, and you'll lose your house. The deck is another large horizontal surface that is vulnerable to flying embers. Just as with your roof, you want to be concerned about the edge of the deck. Keep plants away from the outside edge of decks because they provide a pathway for fire to your house. The inside edge where the deck is attached to the side of the house is another vulnerable area, and you want to keep this clear of leaves and debris. And remember to put away any flammable items like newspapers, towels, and clothing. Wooden fences can carry fire to your house. To prevent this fire pathway, incorporate non-flammable elements like metal gates or sections of wire fencing. Trellises are notorious for catching embers then setting a house on fire. Keep trellises small and clean of dead leaves and small branches. When building or remodeling your house, consider using fire-resistant materials for your deck, windows, siding, and roof. Make maintenance of your roof and gutters a summer ritual. Major fire-safe improvements take time and money to complete. Other measures to make your home fire-safe won't happen overnight. Perhaps you do one new thing each year. Becoming fire-safe is a process of determination, and it is a journey well worth taking.